Okay, here's the problem. We have a golfer who played two different courses and shot a 68 at both courses. Now, on one hand, that seems like it's pretty it's about even because it's the same number. But these are two different courses. The first one, Sunny Pines, professionals generally average 72.1 with a standard deviation of 3.3. .3. And at the other one, they average a little bit lower mean, but it's a little more consistent. So at which course is 68 more impressive? So to do that, we need to calculate what's called the z-value. This gives us a relative value to the two situations. And the formula for the z is you take your measurement, subtract the mean, and divide by the standard deviation. So let's see what we got. At Sunny Pines, we calculate the z for Sunny Pines. He shot, his score was 68, minus the mean at Sunny Pines was 72.1, and the standard deviation was 3.3. .3. This gives us a z value of about negative 1.24. Now, a couple things before we continue. If you're going to try to put all this in at one time on the calculator, make sure that you include parentheses around the whole numerator. Because in this case, order of operations, you want to do the subtraction before the division. And in order to force that to happen, you need those parentheses there. Also, we got a negative, which means he, this golfer was below the mean. And we see his score of 68 was below the mean. Okay, so now let's use the 70.5 and the 1.5 to get the Z value for the links at the shore. So this time our Z value is going to be, well his score there was also 68. This time the mean was 70.5 and the standard deviation was 1.5. And so now, grouping the numerator together, if we go to put that into the calculator, this time we get a z value of negative 1.67. Now this is also negative because he was below the mean, again. But which one is more impressive? Well, since this z value is a little more negative, that means he was further below the mean on, uh, with respect to the other golfers than at the Sunny Pines. So even though the score of 68 is the same, his score at lake sh links at the shore is more impressive because most golfers are right around this average. So his 68 was quite a bit of ways from that compared to the other golfers. Whereas his 68 on this course, on this course was 72.1, well, a standard deviation of 3.3 .3 means the golfers were more erratic. So they could shoot really low scores or they could shoot really high scores there. So the 68 was more impressive at the links at the shore because the Z value was more negative.